She's hip. She's single. She's got attitude. Hi, welcome to AW. Today we're mixing things up a bit. Don't tell Shirley and Tammy, but we gave them the day off. <laughs> When comedian Shonda Pierce and singing sensation Sandy Patty teamed up for a joint tour and invited me to come along for a day, well, I jumped at the chance. And let me tell you, this is one backstage visit you won't want to miss. Honey, the girls are back in town. The girls are back in town. He is the author of The Power of Femininity, Rediscovering the Art of Being a Woman, Michelle McKinney Hammond. Michelle, there you are. You write a book called The Power of Femininity. It's all about women. But I everything, didn't put that in there. Something we get on TV, everything is about, well, men and women are equal. But see, The Power of Femininity is about women understanding that they have power from within. They don't have to exercise external stuff to try to force their way to have things that's done. Right, that's right. You know, they, like there's, there's a celebration right, of who they I are like from that. within. They got their special power. I mean, you know, in Africa, they say that the man is the head, but the woman is the neck. But wherever the neck turns, the Woo! neck turns. Top girl. Now, you know Rick James, our friend from Politically that's Incorrect, right. we did wrote a song about this. He said... She's the freaky kind of girl, the kind you don't take home to mother. Yes. Yeah. Women have to understand that men do categorize women. And there's three basic types, the friend, the freak, or the forever. So you need to decide... <laughs> what you need to true. decide what category you want to be in. Yeah. And we're counting down to Valentine's Day with relationship expert Michelle McKinney Hammond. Thanks for joining us. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Did you talk to a lot of women and men to kind of come up with this list? Or oh, yeah. This is life experience that told you this. <laughs> no, I do a lot of interviewing, uh -huh. lots of research. So it gives me a good excuse to talk to guys. Including <laughs> Our next guest says that we've got it all wrong. Change your life, and Mr. Wright will find you. Please welcome Michelle McKinney Hammond. She's the author of If Men Are Like Buses, Why Can't I Catch One? A lot mm -hmm. of times, we attract what we are subconsciously. True. Right. If we're needy, then we attract another needy person that's like a vampire and sucks the rest yeah. of the life out exactly. of us. Exactly. But when we're healthy, we don't tolerate mm -hmm. bad behavior from other people in our lives. Right. Are divas born or made? Mm -hmm. I believe that we're all divas, but the diva gets lost mm -hmm. under the negativity that we get fed along the way. Why do some women all, always fall for the wrong guy? <laughs> because of unresolved issues. If you're dealing with commitment issues in your own life, you tend to be attracted to other commitment-phobic types. So I usually uh, recommend that women declare a man fast and really deal with themselves. I gotta ask you one question before okay. I go on, though. Okay. Are you married? No. I'm still shopping. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> because every man wants to be your hero. He doesn't want to be your oxygen, but he does want to be your hero. God is very much in the romance business. And so what God wants us to do is marry the super with the natural and become supernatural lovers, as opposed to being these spiritual people who are so spiritual that they're no earthly good in their relationships. You know, that's interesting how protective we are of things that we value. You know, right. I don't leave my jewelry line around the house, you know, if, if people that I don't know are coming over because things walk, you know. But why do we leave our hearts laying around? And why do we leave our bodies laying around? Why right. don't we protect our hearts better? But, you know, I mean, this whole thing about what men want and what women want, I've come to a conclusion, though, that we're both victims of what we're sold on TV because yes. we're sold these fantasies and these expectations. I mean, on TV, men know what to do yeah. with a woman. In real life, they don't. 